How's it going, my friends, and welcome back to another Daily Dose of Brood War episode. Here we've got Bisu spawning at the top center. Down in the bottom left, we have Speed, aka 10 Minute Flash, aka Sexy. The guy we've been watching a lot on this channel. He is a very fun guy to watch. And I thought this would be a fun game. We've actually got a little, little bit of a series here. Not a, not a series between Bisu and Speed, but we've got one game versus Speed and then another game versus Light. And the reason I'm doing this is because, well, I want to. That's basically all there is to it. I'm just going to do whatever I want. This is my channel after all, so... I saw these games on seawall.gg and I thought that's what I want to do with my afternoon. I'm going to watch some Bisu replays and I hope you enjoy it. Hope you're happy to be checking out Bisu because he is getting prepared for running ASL. No doubt he was not playing any ladder for the past two months, but in the new year, he came back to it and this is a very recent game between him and speed so everybody getting back in shape for ASL I'm stoked can't wait to see the qualifiers and um, and the regular season of the ASL it should be a lot of fun I'm really hoping that some of my favorite players are gonna get in this year I'm really looking forward to seeing sharp play That should be a lot of fun. Um, I want to see speed play. I hope that speed makes it in as well. Although that may be a bit of a stretch. You know, he is getting there, but he, I don't think he's quite top level material. If players are able to uh, fight him in, I guess, like a three game series or a five game series, I really don't think he's going to stand much of a chance against these really strong and very, uh, what would you call it, um, seasoned veteran players. But he can make some pretty decent games, and you're an apocalypse. He started out with the barracks right into a factory, and he's not mining with more than one SCV on gas, so... He will be making an extra marine, which makes me feel like he's going to try and put some pressure onto this Nexus first, but two gateways here already down. We have gas mining here. So one zealot is going to pop. The second will be on the way shortly. I don't think we're going to be able to get any damage with uh, marines at this point, especially with an SCV that's already damaged this badly and even picks off the SCV. And he gets the probe away as well. Very nicely done here by Bisu. Despite not playing a lot of ladder recently, still able to pull out some really good moves here. And a Dragoon's going to be on the way. So even the Vulture that's coming across the map right now is not really going to be able to threaten. Going on into this add-on here and we'll drop that CC. So... I guess he only built three Marines, which is not a huge commitment. And that probe manages to get away. That's a little bit annoying. That probe able to skirt the Vulture here. Move around that. The guy on the bike. Be doing a little micro here. But uh, as the Dragoon pops out, I don't think he can get much more done than this. You're just going to have to back away. This is, a, this is a big bad boy. A moving cannon. A little bit too much for that vulture to handle, but wait a minute. The Dragoon is heading out. There's the second Dragoon. He will be able to block this. Actually not. Getting into the main base. That's not good. He's going to try and catch it with the probe. One probe goes down. A second? No? Okay. Should have missed micro there. Getting a second probe. A third? No. Very good shot over the... Uh, the wall here, that's kind of crazy. Which uh, probe got that kill? That one right there. Oh, a Dragoon went down here. I'll have to picture and picture that. Something uh, went awry there for good old Bisu. Uh, letting his uh, Dragoon die at the natural is pretty rough. Gonna get a second Vulture there. No, 
not gonna lose that vulture keeps it alive and does lay the mines now some people say that running in and getting a couple of probe kills early game is actually not as good as putting some mines out on the map but i beg to differ i feel like getting in there and getting two three probe kills at this point is very very good i think that you can get these mines out with some of the later vultures you know, get the mine over here. Get the mine over at this top uh, center area. I don't think it's super important that that vulture, first vulture stays alive. But I could be wrong. Speed doesn't seem to think so. But he's also not one of the best players in the world. He's uh, kind of B tier. We're throwing some mines down over here now. And... Bisu, well, he's going to hide behind his wall. That's uh, four dragoons. I don't think he can take on four dragoons with this, but Marines are doing a pretty decent job, and some of these mines will plant, although they won't be able to do anything. Now, this is not worth it. This is definitely not worth it. Oh, my God. That was bad. That was tragically bad. Yikes. What did I just witness? Four vultures just went down for that. And right before speed kicked in as well. Maybe if he had done all that with the speed kicking in, he could have run by and actually gotten somewhere with that. But no, he got nowhere with that. Absolutely shut down. And I guess he's going to be able to slow down the third base for a little bit here. However, we're going to have an observer move out. And well, once he realizes that there's a mine here, he's going to send it over that direction to clear out that mine. But for now, I guess this is being continuously blocked. Bisu, however, deciding it's more important to actually head across the map, which I absolutely do not agree with. These vultures are going to go ahead, lay some mines behind this, and he's going to get this probe. Yeah, this probe is going down. Oh no, he doesn't He doesn't send the vultures over that way. That's a little bit surprising. I thought that for sure he would have seen this probe and actually gone for it, but instead he's waiting here in the natural, making sure he's got tanks ready, and the probe going to set up this third nexus. He could have delayed this by a lot, actually. That's not good. He really should have come over here and stopped this probe from putting that down. Very unfortunate here for speed. He's going to hide one vulture back there behind the uh, third base. I don't think that's going to get any kills, though. Oh, he's trying to run in once again. Not going to happen. Bisu blocking that wall out, and four factory is on the way here. We do have an armory, however, so I think this will be a four factory into a third base, if I had to guess. We do have Charon boosters on the way. Scans are finally going to come online here. And it's looking like a Arbiter build here out of Bisu. Now, Bisu, very, very strong with the Arbiter. He has been kind of a dominant force in Brood War all throughout the the Arbiter meta, if you will. And I think he's still fine to play the new style of uh, Speed Shuttle, but I don't think he's as strong with that as someone like Best. Best is just unrelentingly strong and ape-like when it comes to that style. Just smashing through opponents left and right. Terran... Uh, defenses be damned. Always smashing through. But I don't know if uh, he can do that type of style. If he can really pull it off as well as someone like Best. So instead going for the Arbiter here, I like it. He does understand Arbiter probably better than most Protoss players. And he's probably the one who could pull it off. Now he doesn't have much of a worker lead here. Actually, no worker lead at all as speed pulls ahead in that regard. Going to lose a Goliath here for free, which is a little bit frustrating. It's like this uh, vulture over here is going to get cleaned up, so not really doing its job very well. Was placed there to get some probe kills, but gets revealed immediately upon the probes arriving, and he wasn't paying attention to it, so not going to get any value out of that in this game. Coming out, laying some more mines. He still hasn't taken a third. Are we just going to go full, full, uh, four fact, five fact attack? Yeah, I don't see a 
starport anywhere. Just five fact, eh? Five fact and attack. All right. Well, with plus one done, I guess it's a thing. No, he's going to take his third base. That's what I thought he was going to do. I thought he would do it off of four facts, though. I didn't think that he would take this long. I guess we're only at 10 minutes 30. It's not that late. And he's got quite a lot of Goliaths. This is more of a... This is... What I would say is this is like... I'm fighting against shuttle style. Type of move, right? Wait until you've got a really big force. I mean, it's not huge, but you've got all of these... Goliaths making it really hard for shuttle play to deal any damage to you. And like they just can't really bomb your tanks well if you target with your Goliaths. And having this num number of facts, like you wouldn't usually get this number of facts if you were going, if you knew that you were going against someone who's playing Arbiter because they don't really have that much stuff, especially if they haven't gone for Reaver. Before Arbiter, and most players won't go Reaver and Arbiter. It's not really much of a thing, although you can do basically anything with Protoss and get away with it. It's not that common. So, you know, he's built up quite a sizable army here just to get this third base down, and now he's kind of wishy-washy about pushing across the map or not. Looks like he will turn around and leave. Where is that Arbiter? There it is. Arbiter here. We've got a lot of mines in the back. Bisu does not have the energy just yet, but he's going to have that very soon. And the recall ability is going to come up here as well. So he's got recall and stasis. Let's take a look at the upgrades. We do not have a plus two just yet, but the starport is now on the way. And plus one armor just finished. This is a very late plus two, man. It's confusing to me seeing these Terran players go so late uh, into that plus two uh, these these days. It's been kind of confusing to me. And look at this. I love this. Actually parking the vultures here. It's going to guarantee that no probe transfer can easily arrive. And I don't know if Beast actually knows about that. Now, it's going to come running in here. I think this is going to get targeted down very quickly. Yeah, he targets that down. He targets down the... Uh, Goliath as well, and this is not looking like a very good attack anymore. Uh, the Goliaths really did their job there. The Arbiter got a somewhat decent stasis, but the number of tanks is still very high. A little bit surprised that Bisu decided to go for an attack like that. You know, he will have recall here, and we're just sitting on three bases as the Terran player. Doesn't hurt to, you know, get more bases going here as Protoss. And oh god, here it is. The catch on the probes. Really nicely done by speed. Bit of a fail here for Bisu sending those out without any sort of uh, assistance or, you know, um, what the heck is that called? Uh, bodyguard. No, I don't know what that... I, I, I can't think of the word, guys. This happens to me way too often. Dragon's just going to be clearing out now. The vultures here that have already laid their mines. They're not too useful anymore. We still don't have plus two, guys. Oh my god, it's so late. What is with Terrence these days and just never getting their plus two until... Look at that. 14 minutes he starts his plus two. That is not optimal. But I guess maybe it's okay here. I'm not sure. Where's our next Arbiter? There it is with nearly recall energy. Is he going to try and recall the main? I think that would be a big mistake. Recalling the main would be, I think, a massive error. But maybe if he flies in through here and recalls back here. Still, that's uh, that's pretty rough. I don't know if he wants to recall there. Uh, even killing off the armory is not that big of a deal. I guess it is pretty huge since plus two is so late if you delayed it again. I don't know how many armor upgrades. He doesn't have any armor. Okay, he's got one armor on the way. But imagine if he had like two or three armor and there was no plus two for the Terran. I wonder what the fights would look like at that point. How one-sided the Protoss would be fighting. I feel like it would be pretty harsh. 
uh, for the Terran army to try and cut through all the zealots that would be running up, but maybe it wouldn't be as bad as I'm thinking now. Maxing out here, we've got EMP on the way, and Speed is shoving forward with his entire army. And we see a good trade here from Bizu. Well, if he takes the engagement right here, I think he's going to have a fantastic trade. Here comes the biggest... Oh, my God. Some of the most stasis units you've ever seen in your life right there. And another stasis is going to come in? No, he doesn't have the energy for that. And, wow, a lot of these dragons end up getting cleaned up. That's unfortunate. He did not actually do very well with that fight. A lot worse than I thought he would with, what is this, six tanks and one stasis? Plus another three over here, and he still wasn't able to take a, a very decent fight. I guess that's fighting uphill for you. An uphill battle there for Bisu, literally an uphill battle. And the speed's just going to take another base, man. He's going to spread out down here to the bottom right. Bisu's uh, Arbiter play not looking as strong as it once did. That is for sure. 40 supply behind at this point. He barely killed anything in that last attack. And now that everything has unseaged and moving forward, this army is looking very, very scary here. Now, some of you might be wondering, say, and I see, is this really Bisu? Is this really Bisu that we're watching playing? And yes, I can confirm this is 100% Bisu. I checked his stream, found something he played against, found that game, because it is a barcode, it's hard to type in. I found the game he played against somebody else, and then I tracked his account. So I know for a 100% fact that this is indeed Bisu, but he's just not playing at peak performance here. And you can see that uh, speed is kind of overwhelming him right now. Are we going to get a recall? Whoa, what a recall here. Holy crap, that's a big recall. Oh my god, that's so many units. He recalled a huge mass over into the Terran main, and he's just like totally counter trading here just uh base trading everything out on uh, his opponent's side of the map he's gonna get a big stasis here i think oh wow four tanks in that stasis and he can just back up everything into the base of uh speed this is very annoying stuff um we've got one more stasis oh nice emp very nice emp that's gonna really uh, mess up the plan here for Bisu, who is trying to just like maybe he was gonna get a stasis right there as everything was coming in but now speed I guess he can clear this but a few of these uh, factories are gonna fall but here comes the army of speed and he's killed multiple bases here definitely have to go picture in picture for this part a lot going on right now but there you have it he is cleaning up the main base and with all of these going down and all the Arbiters dying as well. Ooh, this is not looking good for Bisu, guys. This tank, These tanks are going to come up here. Maybe if the tanks actually kill this uh, Nexus, I think Bisu would actually just be out of this game. But it appears like Bisu can save at least this one Nexus. Now, I still don't know how playable this is right now because, again, 40 supply deficit. One more shot here. Okay, no shot on the probes, but we've still got this base. We've still got this base. Yeah, GG. He does tap out. I would have much rather seen a recall down here instead. Recall this base and just kind of hang out in the middle of the map. Keep stasising. Keep taking fights, but Gisu, not at peak performance in this game. That is for sure. Maybe that little break, that two-month break, maybe that slowed him down significantly and speed who's been grinding like crazy playing against the, some of the top players of, as we've seen on this channel kind of uh you know, outdoing bisu who's in his weakened state well we're gonna jump into our next game here it is played about two or it was played about two weeks one week after this game that we just watched it's gonna be against light so that's coming right up well then, Bisu here in the top left versus Light in the bottom right. 
Guys, that was a rough game, that last one for Bisu. And you know, one of the hardest parts about Brood War, I will say, is recognizing that everything that happens in the game is your fault and kind of taking that on yourself and knowing that if you had played better, you could have won. It's very hard to kind of square that with yourself and take the blame for your own actions. Um, I am guilty of this as well, kind of like blaming lag or blaming something else outside of myself because it is just so painful. And you can see the pain on some of the players' faces. Not only... I mean, it's painful enough when you're playing a ladder game and you don't play to your full potential. But if you're doing something like playing in a tournament and you're not reaching your full potential, it hurts that much more. Now, he's going to steal the gas here. It looks like Light wanted to cancel an SCV and just go for the gas, but wasn't able to get there in time. And Bisu going to steal this gas geyser, which is very annoying. Plus, he's going for a forward gateway, which means that Zealot Pressure is coming here. Light. Let's see if he can handle this uh, Bisu level micro in the early game. Because Bisu seems to have turned it on a little bit more this game. Look at how he's moving his probe. Just uh, dodging out these uh, SCV shots. There we go. Getting the moving shot going there. Dipping in and out. Ooh, an engineering bay to block this. This is a very nice play from light and this will slow down whatever plans here are coming from Bisu. He's not going to stay with the Zealot. So not going to stay. Keep the Zealot here and uh, get rid of this engineering bay. He didn't even have enough money to make it that he just brings three probes to deal with that. I think that's a pretty decent move. Makes a lot of sense and the Zealot is not going to be delayed whatsoever we will have a third marine though however so three marines here be ready to fight the scv going to be pulled up to the front try to block this zealot pretty good block so far in the target down at that probe able to get enough hits with the probe though to two shot with the zealot nicely done with the second zealot coming up here he will be able to fight three at marines but uh, if Light has this block, he might not be able to do that so easily. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here comes that next Zealot. Not the greatest block from Light. Light kind of messing this up a bit. Trying to get in front of the Zealots here. Nice surround on that one Zealot. Second Zealot here does get a kill, though. These two Marines are very, very low. They will only sustain a couple more hits here. This one, only one more hit will kill it. Very nice micro pulling that back just in the nick of time. And will force Bisu back. Bisu still continuing to produce zealots. He's hoping to get more damage with that. And he's going to run by and quickly get one kill. Very nicely done here. Bunker on the way. We will have command center very soon. But right now he's focused more on dealing with these zealots. Getting this bunker down. And get, making himself safe. We'll be starting actually the factory before the command center is an interesting move we've got three zealots here now if you went around with the zealots maybe walking through here would be faster i don't know walking straight down here seems pretty fast if he wants to run by this bunker and i think he does no he's not going to do that backing off while at the second gateway is coming up here we should see a cyber nice core there it is cyber core here in the main this is an all right amount of damage i mean we didn't get any scvs we slowed down the Terran a little bit, and we got our Nexus up pretty quick. So, I mean, when all's said and done, not the worst start, not the best start either. We're even on workers here, but that should change shortly as more and more probes get pumped out of this double Nexus. SCV going to slip out on the map. Very nice move there from Light. Always on top of his scouting. One of the best in the business. And moving out with a lot of Marines right now. Whoa. That is not what I was expecting. And I don't think the Bisu was either. 
to see six marines moving out right now seven marines actually and a vulture a little bit shocking Ooh, get some good damage on this first dragoon he only got one shot with the dragon okay gets another two three shots gets one kill as well two dragoons are about to pop we don't have an scv with this okay there's the scv but it's a bit far behind we won't be able to start a bunker for a little while he's gonna pick off that uh zealot very quick this zealot goes down pretty quickly as well but not fast enough a lot of damage goes down from these dragoons and a couple of hits from each zealot is going to thwart this attack so a lot of scvs getting pulled here though wait a second this is way more all in than i thought i did not expect him to go so ham with this these dragoons gonna survive with just a couple hp and he actually has to go forward here there's no chasing these dragoons if he chases the dragoons all the way to the right here he's gonna be in a very bad position he's to target this dragoon right there oh he gets that one just barely but still very very bad for light here he's losing all of his marines and he's gonna lose the bunker as well that bunker is never gonna finish can't even get that one dragoon oh no everything has gone wrong now for light i mean he is in such a bad spot after losing that many marines vultures and he didn't get any mines down at all oof some more scv is gonna fall on the way home as well yeah this is not looking good here we have a couple pylons coming down it's gonna block this way this is gonna go ahead and expand this direction i think he's gonna be fine with that just expand down here we'll be 100 percent okay and the uh, dragons will eventually kill this egg, which will allow things to pass through this direction. But it's still a very tight hole to try and get your vultures through. So if you put some one dragon there or one dragon there, either one of those is going to block that. So you know, a pretty decent wall, although it doesn't look very good. It looks kind of funky here. I think it's going to be fine for Bisu to hold any sort of vulture pressure and doesn't really seem like there's going to be a lot of ultra pressure coming here because light is on the complete defensive right now he just needs to survive for a bit and actually he needs to do something risky as well because he's found himself in such a bad spot he kind of needs to do something crazy here which is not something that you usually see out of light usually he is playing his game playing very defensive from the very start and incrementally gaining ground on you over and over again through small victories until his late game position is way too good and then he has just an immaculate push that will uh, you know be impossible to stop but this game not going to be the case this game he has to make something happen and actually a reaver going to be dropped here oh right over top firing you can see he dropped the reaver perfectly there Gonna dud that scare by moving the tanks to the right. Nice job by Light. But you can see he dropped the Reaver perfectly at the edge of the mineral patches and hopped. Uh, and the Scarab hopped right over top. And that's something only the best players in the world can really do uh, consistently. It's very hard to do. If you drop your Reaver just a little bit back from the minerals, it'll kind of get stuck on the minerals and then it'll chase the SCVs and the SCVs will just run away. Um, they, the, the Scarab will get stuck and it won't really deal any damage. But here we go. He's going to try it again. Coming in from another angle. Gets one more SCV. Can he get one more shot off? He does. And the two SCVs there. So, so far, like five, six SCVs have gone down, maybe? How many kills do we have on this? Three so far. Okay. So, less than I thought. Four, five, six. There's six. We get a seventh, eighth as well. So, eight total SCVs have gone down. Another shot here. Will he get one more hit? There we go. Nine and ten on those SCV kills. And look at that discrepancy here. 20 worker difference. Yikes. I think Bisu going to win this game, guys. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that probably Light not going to come back from that. That is a lot of reaver damage. And that preci precipitated from that earlier attack, right? We just had a lot of resources levied into that push didn't really come to much a lot of time was wasted a lot of scv time was wasted by 
you know, pulling those SCVs across the map. How many did he pull? Five SCVs, something like that. Six, maybe. And built a bunker, so that didn't come up. It's it's brutal. Now, Light is going to try and do a push here. This is not a lot of tanks. It's been spotted as well. We've got these Goliaths moving. This is a desperation play. This is the risky play that I was talking about earlier, right? He killed the Reaver. So he knows that he's not going to get Reaver dropped right now. However, there's the Reaver right there. So I take back what I said. He knows that there's one less Reaver to worry about. So he's going to start to push here. But there's that Reaver on the high ground. Light not really markering this very well. It's because he's actually typing GG. So he leaves the game and... There you go, Bisu. Able to handle that one pretty darn well. I mean, his early Zealot micro is nearly unmatched. It's so strong. He did a little damage in the early game against the Light, which most Protoss players would never be able to do in a million years with a forward gateway because the uh, micro from Light with the Marines is so, so good. But he managed to get a little damage with that. And then the counterplay... The counterattack with all the Marines was so well handled by the drag by the, the dragoons of Bisu. You can see Bisu, you know, pulling his dragoons constantly over this way because he knows that Lights wants to push this way and get onto his bunker and get in that bunker. But as long as he keeps pulling back and you know taking pot shots at the Marines as they're walking this way, drawing them away. They're never going to be able to chase down those dragoons. As long as the dragoons stay alive, they can keep hitting the marines over and over again. And there you go. Bisu manages to take this game. He's just kind of hanging out in here. I don't know what he's doing right now, but we're going to take off. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. It's been your daily dose of Brood War, and I'll see you tomorrow.